we have an innocent looking integral from 0 to half pi sine x log sine x dx. Now during the process I will meet a first protocol obstacle and you can pause the video by then and then think of some solution to tackle that. So before we uh, do the first step we have to realize we recognize what's going on here so with sine x also have a sine x inside log. And also realize that deriv derivative log is sine x should sit on the bottom, right? Or cosine x, x sit on the top. So that way we can cancel out sine x. So that motivates us to use different integration by parts. And we, if we just let u equal log sine x, right? dv sine x dx. Right, so that way, du, du sine x cosine x dx. Right. So that way, v is negative cosine x. Right. So that way, the integral is equal to <coughs> equal to u v minus integral v du right? u v negative cosine x log sine x 0 to half pi minus integral v du v du v du Uh, v d u v d u so here is where the obstacle is our first first difficulty is that we realize that this part is problematic and the, the half pi inserting to here no problem right we have one log one is zero zero times uh, cosine half pi zero pi z zero right, no problem the problem is zero right zero inserted into here we have log of zero approaching negative infinity right. negative infinity and the problem is that here we have some constant right, cosine, like I said zero insert into cosine we have log cosine zero that's one one times negative infinity, uh, negative one times uh, negative infinity, right, positive infinity. So that's where the problem is. Pause, pause the video for a second and uh, give it a try if you like. And so the way we're going to tackle this is we recognize that this part is approaching negative infinity. So maybe I should try and replace V with some other constant plus negative cosine x. Right? What, what kind of constant should I plus? Right? Realize that log approaching uh, zero, approaching when it's approaching positive infinity, it's, it's approaching positive infinity very slow. When it's approaching negative infinity, it's approaching negative infinity also very slow. Right? Notice this. Maybe we can let this part approach zero, right? So what constant should we add? Maybe we should add one. So that way when x is approaching zero, right? Cosine zero, one, one minus one. This will approach zero. So hopefully zero times negative infinity will eventually cancel out to be some constant or approaching zero, right? If we can make sure that this is approaching zero faster than this is approaching negative infinity. Like, like I said, log is very slow. Right? So all of a sudden we have, this time we have one minus cosine x, right? And here, instead of having this, this time we should, we should have, like I said, one minus cosine x times 
this part, right? du, v du, this minus, right? So this time we're fine. We're fine, right? At least, so here's why. <laughs> here's why. 1 minus cosine x, first of all, double angle formula. Right, I'm going to determine what speed it is approaching zero. Right? 1 minus twice of sine squared half x. Right? So that is equal to twice of sine squared half of x. And we all know that sine half x over half x if it's x, we have over x, right? so consistent. That's approaching 1, right, as x approaches 0. So that tells us sine square half x over also half x square, also approaching 1. All right, what if it's twice of sine square, right? Twice of sine square, twice, right? Also approaching one. So that tells me, so that tells me twice of sine square half is, is asymptotically equivalent to half of x squared, right? They approach zero at the same speed. So that tells me 1 minus cosine x, right, is asymptotically equivalently small, right? In x approach, right? So that means whenever we see this, we can replace it with that when under multiplication or division, right? So that means. Right, all we have to worry about is, like I said, half, half of pi inserted into here, no problem. Log 1 is 0. Right, also cosine, cosine half pi. Cosine half pi, 0, yeah. So the whole thing, 0. So problem is 0. Right, all we have to worry about is half of x squared times log sine x approaching what as x approach zero hopefully it's approaching some constant or zero because right? we know that log is very slow right half of x squared is approaching zero relatively fast so how do we determine this tendency right of course L'Hopital's rule half of x squared times log sine x. So log hospital log to the rule. All right. So I'm gonna maybe put the put the, this onto the onto the bottom, right? Maybe that'll become x squared under two. Right. That is good. Yes, log sine x, right? So that way we have something that's approaching uh, zero at, the, at this denominator, right? So this fraction will approach positive infinity, right? So uh, I don't even care about the numerator, right? Because that already satisfies the condition of L'Hopital's rule, right? So differentiate both top and bottom. Differentiate. Differentiate both top and bottom. That will give me. Uh, so this is not an equal sign, an arrow, right? So that, that cannot equal, but L'Hopital's rule. So that way I have negative, negative, x to the power of negative 2. x to the power of negative 2, differentiate. Negative 4 times x to the power of negative 3. Right? And differentiate that. Differentiate uh, cosine sine x cosine x. Right, sine x cosine x. 
So again, like I said, like I said, sine x can be replaced with x, right? Asymptotically infinitely small. Right? Right, they approach zero at the same speed, right? So maybe I can. So maybe I can. So as asymptotically uh, equivalence, right? Cosine x over x minus four x negative three, right? So that what is that? Maybe that's equal to negative cosine x over x times four. Four x times that's x negative four over over x cube. Right, so negative four, negative four times negative four x cube. Right, it's a reciprocal, reciprocal. So that'll give me to the power of two. So as x x approaching zero, so zero cosine cosine zero, cosine zero, one, zero, approaching zero. So really, really, it's approaching zero. Like I said, log is very slow, right? So this guy is relatively fast, approaching zero. So this has no problem. So this is like I said, indeed, zero minus zero. Yeah, now it has no problem. All we have to worry about is this. And this part, negative zero to half pi. <laughs> this time, this time let's multiply by one plus cosine x on both top and bottom. Alright, so that way you have we have difference of perfect square. One minus cosine square. Become sine square. Right? Cosine x. Sine x, sine x. Just sine x. And dx. Right. So this time, this time we can further, we can, we can do this. <clears throat> we can, we can in fact sine x cosine x. We can in fact my minus sine x plus sine x. Right, the reason we is that we can simply <laughs> simply split it into two parts, right? So this part and this plus that. Right. So that way we can, uh, first of all, there's a, so negative one plus cosine x. So this part plus this part, sine x, right, factor out one plus I, plus cosine dx, right? <clears throat> and also there is a uh, negative, negative, but this negative of sine x is the derivative of cosine x, right? So I'm going to still keep this negative. Right, like I said, negative Negative sine, sine one plus cosine dx. So this can easily become just log of this. 
All right, so that will become just negative, negative, right, negative, negative cosine right, from zero to half pi minus log of one plus cosine. Right, because derivative of cosine is negative sign. So this has no problem. Zero to half pi. So now, now it's easy, right? This part. Cosine half pi. Zero. Cosine zero. One. And this part, this part is minus log of Cosine, cosine of log one minus log of one plus cosine zero, one plus one, log two. And eventually it's going to be, right, this is just zero. Right, so eventually we have log two minus one. 